Hey guys, today we'll make this beautiful card that you see on the screen. These are the brushes we'll be using today. And here's the color palette. Take a screenshot so that you have the perfect colors with you. Let's begin. Firstly, open a 1 into 1 canvas. After that, bucket fill the canvas with the background color. Now, open a new layer, go to Filters, choose Frame, Table Count, 2 columns, 2 rows and change the line color as needed. Now make a new layer over the background. Select the texture pen and do as follows. Go to Basics, increase the thickness of the start and end to 100%. Choose rectangle and choose the second lightest color under the envelope section. Draw a rectangle and resize accordingly. Now turn off the grid and duplicate the rectangle and merge it. Repeat it once more. Click the bucket tool and change the expansion to around 10% and fill the box. Add a new layer, turn the grid back on and do as shown on the screen. Repeat the duplication process and bucket fill. Merge the two layers and clean it up if required. And resize it to center it. Add a new layer Select Clipping Mask, choose the texture pen and use the second darkest color in the envelope section. Draw two lines as shown. Now repeat the duplication process. Turn off the grid and color it in. Add a new layer, clip it, choose the darkest color under the envelope section and draw the other two lines. Select the magic wand and click outside the envelope. Choose the eraser and erase the clipping mask. And unclip them, if that makes sense. Remove the selection. Make a new layer over the first envelope layer. Select the rectangle and the lightest color and draw the rectangle to look like paper. Duplicate it and merge it. Color it in. Duplicate this layer again and alpha lock the bottom layer. And color it in with the darkest color. And alpha lock it. Go to filters, choose blur and then Gaussian blur it around 20 to 30 percent. Now repeat this process to all the other layers. Now make a layer over the background, choose the lightest green color and make such florals with stems. I chose this weird round looking leaves i don't know why but they look cute so yeah 
Also, if you like this video until here, you can comment down below saying hi so that I can know you because I kind of don't know you, but you do. So we can get to know each other and it'll be fun. Now duplicate this layer, merge it and duplicate it again. Now transform it to add florals on the other side. You can redraw it but I thought this is better and then I clean it up. Add a new layer, take the yellow color and draw a stem with these upside down elongated teardrops. If you do make this, then post it on Instagram and tag us at dart so that we can see it and feel happy. For this floral, I drew it on either side, but it's your wish if you want to duplicate it or redraw it. Now that it's done, duplicate it again and make a layer over the background and take the darkest green and make the stems. Only stems, don't do anything else. Now duplicate this layer and choose the red color and draw these berries. As you can see, all of the berries don't have stems, but I like it that way. It has like a whimsical feel, so it's your wish. Let's duplicate and merge the berries layer. Now make a layer on top of the paper layer. Choose the darkest brown on the lettering section and write what you want. I'm writing happy birthday because it's my mom's birthday tomorrow on August 15th, so yeah. And I'm using this funky bubbly font. You can write it in how, any way you want. And I'm writing birthday in folk calligraphy. Oh, and if you want to learn calligraphy or watercolor, all of the tutorials are linked in the i card above. So go check them out and subscribe. Let's thicken the down strokes and transform it one last time. Duplicate it. Now open unsplash.com, search for paper texture. I like this one, so I'm gonna download it. Open Ibis and import it. Now change the blend mode to multiply. I changed the opacity and added a layer under it. Use the same color and make such lines. Make it all around the envelope. It will add a nice extra touch. Duplicate the layer only once. It looks pretty good. Now add another layer, choose a pale white, I mean pale yellow color and make such lines as shown. Filters, Gaussian blur 50%, full high, do it until it looks clean. And add another layer underneath it and choose a very dark color and repeat the same process. Now change the blend mode to pin light for both the layers. I don't like it very much. So I'll go back to layers, reduce the opacity. And I still don't like it. So I'll change the blend mode to hard mix 
and you can check out the other blend modes too but i like this one so and trying to slightly merge it a little better now that that's done i reduced the opacity didn't like it so increased it a little bit and increase the other layers of opacity a little more i like it now and i'll change the texture layer to 100% opacity cuz that looks better i'm using the lettering color and you can write whatever you want it's for my mom's birthday as i mentioned so i'm writing mom but you can write for any person or anything this is how it looks i hope you like it thanks for watching I'm sure if you like this video then you'll like this video that's on your screen right now so give it a watch like share subscribe and bye see you soon